Hi, I'm Esther and today I'm going to be talking about reservoir dogs. Okay, so in terms of narrative design, it is a great example of Tarantino's slick writing and characterization. It is this uh, that put his name on the filmmaking map. Now, what's interesting about the film's movement is that the actual heist, the essential plot point that brings the characters together, is never shown. Now this gives the event a sense of enigma and pulls the audience in, making them question what happened between the opening credits and Mr. Orange being shot. Now various details are mentioned by the characters throughout the rest of the film, but the identity of the key movements of the entire film is kept elusive. Now the opening diner scene reveals Mr. Pink's hot-headed ignorance for tipping and Mr. White's compassion, which often clash with each other. Now, um, this friction is seen throughout and it grows with the characters to the point where they end up fighting like children, demolishing the cool and the frightening criminal personas they once possessed and showing their true character. The music of Reservoir Dogs is especially important in this regard and the director's stylish soundtracks were use of, uh, or, and the use of forgotten retro music have since become part of his trademark. One scene of Reservoir Dogs and its tune of choice stands up. A lesser known folk rock song, Steeler's Wheel Stuck in the Middle with You, charted back in the early 1970s and uh, Tarantino placed, the, placed that movie in a very, like, uh, in a scene that did not really suit that music uh, because if you've heard, if you heard, if you watched the movie, you probably you see it. Okay. So, he selected the jaunty, upbeat track to accompany the disturbing torture scene in which uh, Michael Madsen's psychopathic Mr. Blonde removes an ear, removes a ear from uh, a rookie cop after a botched strawberry. Now, the this thing this is called contrapuntal. So it's basically the use of music opposite to the emotion expected from the scene, also known as soundtrack dissonance. Okay, now Reservoir Dogs is a fantastic example of concept of the concept of synergy, where by uh, where uh, the film becomes a platform for selling other things. Now the soundtrack, the posters, action figures, all these were uh, like you know promoted by the movie. So. Also, the trunk and the hood POV shot has, oh yeah, the, uh, Quentin Tarantino has trademarked the trunk shot camera, uh, the angle, camera angle of, of the trunk shot and uh, he has used it in every movie he has directed, direct, di direct, directed, directed. So he also uses reverse trunk shots with characters being watched from outside the trunk. Mr. Brown and Mr. Pick. Oh, this, uh, an example of the scene in the movie is uh, Mr. Brown and Mr. Pink, uh, Mr. Brown, Mr. Pink and Mr. White uh, looking at Marvin Nash. Okay, the 360 shot. Mm, Qu uh, Qu Quentin Tarantino uh, said that his use of this shot was inspired by director Brian De Palma, who often used the 360 tracking shot to emphasize a feeling of love or togetherness. And it can also be used to emphasize confusion, which was, uh, uh, I think, uh, meant for in the opening diner scene. Okay. And uh, the mirror shot, where Tarantino's characters often speak and look at themselves in the mirror, it literally reflects the intimate moments of being alone. So you've seen the, sh the, the scenes where Mr. Orange, Mr. White, and Mr. Pink, they, you know, you see them in the mirror, that. Um, the dance scene, Taran, uh, Quentin Tarantino, um, uh, usually his dance scenes are very, it's like a joyous time and just not, it's, it's like in, in uh, but, but not in this movie, it was, uh, <laughs> this movie it was a little, uh, it was evil, <laughs> it was like, uh -huh. Okay, so Mr. Blonde decides to, where Mr. Blonde decides to uh, dance to Stuck in the Middle with you when he's torturing the, the cop. Okay, so the torture scenes in Tarantino films are what makes the audience squirm the most.
and uh, when these characters are being held hostage it feels like we are like we are too because you know quentin tarantino just has that thing okay good director huh. okay um so what is what is the restaurant and bar scene so he has these the restaurant he, these are his basically his trademark uh, scenes so the opening sequence at the coffee shop then the car scene where nice guy eddie is talking on the phone nice guy eddie is driving and talking to mr white and mr pink and etc um the mexican standoff now this was my fav- the favorite part in the movie okay so uh, the mexican standoff is where the where there is like there are two or more ca- more than two uh, characters that are opposing each other and they aim at each other with guns so it was originated in Sergio Leone's classic 1966 spaghetti western the good the bad and the ugly which is one of uh, Quentin Tarantino's favorite films by the way and uh, he has used it for several of his own films so you see this where mr white versus it's like mr white versus nice guy eddie versus um joe cabot and another trademark of his is um, the black and white suits so quentin tarantino uh, he stated that these suits are his uh, suits of armor so all the guys wear black and white suits that's it thank you